Uh, this is Brad Rice, speech class, my informative speech number two. Uh, go that way. There's people here. Wave. Video. Wave. Proof that I have people here. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Because I have to kind of talk you up this way in that one. All right. What is in a name? One name can say a thousand words. There is one name in college football that almost everyone has heard of and knows instantly who it is. This speech is on one such college football mascot. That mascot is Ugga. Shocking. The Ugga lineage began in 1956 and continues until today. The Frank W. Sonny Siler family has owned all of the Bulldogs known as Ugga. The Ugga mascot began in 1956 when Mr. Siler brought a bulldog that was given to him as a wedding present to Georgia's first home game of the season. After that, head coach Wally Butts asked for permission to use the dog at all of Georgia's home games and as its famed mascot. Today, there have been nine bulldogs to carry the Ugga name. After the death of each dog, they are buried in a marble vault near the main gate of the South Stands in Sanford Stadium. Beneath each dog is an epitaph on a brown bronze plaque. Let's take a look at each of these nine wonderful dogs. The first in line to be Ugga was from 1956 to 1967. His real name was Hood's Old Dan. He had a record of 53 wins, 48 losses, and six ties while at his time as Ugga. His original red jersey was made by Sonny Siler's wife, Celia. During the hot games in Athens, before the air conditioning doghouse, Ugga would sit underneath the branches of the hedges that surrounded the football field. Therefore, he would go through a lot of the jerseys because they kept getting snagged on the branches of the hedges. His epitaph said, damn good dog. <laughs> Ugga the second time was from 1966 to 1972. His original name was Old Dan's Ugga, due to that he was Ugga I, Hood's Old Dan's son. His record was 42, 16, and 3. Ugga II had an impressive reign as he went on to five bowl games and on to two SEC championship games. His epitaph read, not bad for a dog. <laughs> Ugga III official name was Siler's Ugga III, and his time on the playing field was from 1973 to 1980. Ugga III was there for one of the most important times in Georgia football history. It was when Herschel Walker took the Bulldogs on to be the 1980 national champions. Ugga the three retired on his 100th football game of his career, the season opener of the 1981 season. Sadly, he died two months later. His epitaph read, how about this dog? Ugga four, whose name was Siler's Ugga four, served from 1981 to 1989. For nine seasons, he had a record of 77 wins, 27 losses, and four ties. His claim to fame was that he was the first ever live mascot to make an appearance at the Heisman Trophy ceremony accompanying Herschel Walker. At this ceremony, he wore his normal red jersey, but to add a touch of class, he wore a custom-made tuxedo and bow tie. Ugga Four's epitaph read, the dog of the decade. Ugga Five was the son of Ugga Four and spent his time between the edges from 1990 to 1999. Ugga Five's name was Ugga Five's McGillicuddy II and had a record of 65 wins, 39 losses, and one tie. Ugga Five's name was in honor of Dan McGill, a former assistant athletic director and tennis coach. Ugga Five was one of the most well-known of the Uggas due to his appearance on the cover of Sports Illustrated on April 27, 1997, which declared him the nation's best college mascot. He also appeared in the Clint Eastwood's 1997 hit film, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Ugga Five's epitaph read, Defender of His Turf. Ugga Six, whose real name was Ugga Five's What You Got Lauren, he was named after longtime sideline reporter Lauren Smith. When radio announcer Larry Munson would go to Lauren on the sideline, he would say, Lauren, what do you got? His time in Georgia was from 1990 to 2008 with a record of 87 wins and 27 losses. Ugga Six was the winningest mascot in Georgia school history. His epitaph read, a big dog for a big job and handled it well. <clears throat> Ugga 
the seventh, the seventh bulldog in line was from 2008 and 2009. His name was Lawrence Best, again named after sideline reporter Lawrence Smith. His record while at Georgia was 16 wins and 7 losses. Of the seven passed away unexpectedly on November 19, 2009, of heart-related causes. On the next Saturday, the Bulldogs did not have a live mascot. Instead, there was a wreath placed on Ugga's doghouse, and the players wore a special Ugga 7 decal on their helmets. His epithet said, gone too soon. Ugga 8 named was Big Bad Bruce, and his time in Georgia was from 2010 to 2011. He was named in honor of University of Georgia veterinarian Dr. Bruce Hobbit. On January 7, 2011, UGA officials announced that Ugga the 8th had been diagnosed with a canine lymphoma. This led to his death on February 4, 2011. His epitaph said he never had a chance. <laughs> Ugga the 9th has been, has been in Georgia from 2012 to the present. After the death of Ugga 7, his five-year-old half-brother, Russ, was selected as interim mascot. For the final two games of the 2009 season, he continued as an interim for the, for the first six games of 2010 season before handing the collar off to Ugga 8. Within two months, Russ was back as interim after the sickness and death of Ugga 8. Russ served as interim during the entire 2011 season. On August 30, 2012, Athletic Director Greg McGarity announced that Russ had received a battleground, battleground promotion and would earn the title of Ugga 9. Russ is the only Ugga not to be all white since he has brown on his ears and body. These are the nine dogs that were proud and honored enough to be called Ugga.